Thousands gathered outside the Supreme Court on Tuesday afternoon to protest the leaked draft opinion that was reported to have the support of five conservative justices, an opinion that concludes that since those who wrote the Constitution did not explicitly protect women's reproductive rights, then previous judgments enshrining a woman's right to choose had no basis in the law. I thought we were long past that point. Uh, I thought we, it was protested about how many decades ago, but... It's terrifying. Abortion! Just a handful of anti-abortion rights protesters were outside the court too. I say abortion is murder. But for those seeking to end abortion access, this has been the goal since 1973 when justices ruled in favour of women's reproductive rights in the case of Roe v. Wade. And Justice Roberts said that that was an authentic draft, uh, so we were very happy to hear that. And we're hopeful that the High Court will stay with that draft and that will be the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The White House says it is prepared for whatever the actual verdict is. But the president warned that the reasoning underpinning the draft opinion has far-reaching implications. It basically says all the decisions related to your private life, who you marry, whether or not you decide to conceive a child or not, whether or not you can have an abortion, a range of other decisions, whether or not how you raise your child. What does this do? Uh, and does this mean that in Florida they can decide they're going to pass a law? saying that same-sex marriage is not permissible. The U.S. has the worst maternal mortality rate in the industrialized world. Those here are worried that terrible metric could now deteriorate even further. The sign was inspired by conversations with many women today. I don't think that anybody has an idea of what the real-world consequences are, um, and especially those who are in a position of privilege, um, like everybody on the Supreme Court, myself included in that. Um, there's a lot of really potential for harm. But there was hope, too. The polls have consistently shown 70% of Americans are against outlawing abortion. The Democrats seem to be hoping for a bump in voter turnout in November's midterm elections from those who support female reproductive rights. But there is an awareness here that in the past, when the Democrats have had the opportunity to codify a woman's right to choose, they failed to do so. Shia Brutansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.